Wow, that's really good. That's not that good. This is only 35 yards with a PCP. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys three tips as to why your PCP air gun is not shooting good. So, to start off with that, the number one enemy of PCP air gunners is O-rings. A lot of you know that I did my own upgrades to some of my air rifles, but the point is, the O-rings that keep everything sealed up go bad and they can go bad quickly depending on how everything is aligned whether it's from the air cylinder to the bolt probe to all the o-rings that the barrel has on it going into the breech here there's also there's so many o-rings on a pcp air gun so with that said you could check to see if you have a bad o-ring with a chronograph if you don't have one i highly recommend getting one yes it does tell you the velocities of the pellets and all that the best part of the chronograph for me is that it tells you whether or not you have a leak somewhere because very rarely does a pellet have that much difference in FPS unless it's fully damaged or something along that line. But like I said, the enemy of a PCP air gunner is an O-ring to start off with. That's the only thing that I don't like about PCP air guns overall. Other than that, they're really good style of air guns and they're very accurate. So the next point that I want to bring up is the balance point. Believe it or not, if you're not shooting within the balance point of the rifle itself, you can have trouble trying to get really good accuracy downrange, and that can cause a lot of issues, whether you're hovering, doing a free hand style of shooting, or doing bags, or using some type of rest. It can definitely make a big difference because if you don't shoot at the balance point that it likes, your, your groups and accuracy downrange will cause you to miss and it'll cause you not to be precise. So the easiest way to do it, if you're going to freehand it, is to sit the gun in your hand like so. And if the front or back tilts down or up, you need to move your hand back or forward. How it's moving down, front forward, now it's pretty even as you can see. But again, this is going to change if you're using some type of rest like a bog pod or a shooting bag. So you need to always find the sweet spot of the gun itself before even shooting. I like to start at zero before I even try to attempt to shoot because that way I know I'm set. Following up on the balance point, because this is all within each other, is the trigger mechanism and follow through. Now, this is tied up against the balance point. And why I say this, if you're not shooting on the balance point, any type of movement from the gun can make your shots be off. So if you don't know, most of your PCP air guns have a, the firing mechanism, the trigger, the sear, the disconnect, all that stuff, and it connects to the hammer. Well, the hammer then has to go forward and hit the valving system to make the gun go off and allow your pellet to go down range. It's kind of a delay, like a muzzleloader where it hits the primer, the primer then ignites the powder, and then the, the slug or bullet goes out the bore. There is a slight timing with these PCP air guns. It's not bad, but it is slight. So, with that said, if you get the trigger system down just right, using off the balance point, again, the zero point of the gun, the center, there should be hardly no recoiling action of any sort and with good follow through. If you don't have good follow through, your gun is just gonna be all over the place. Even if you do start at the balance point and have a good trigger pull, meaning a good follow through is looking through your scope and keeping your eye on the target the whole time the trigger is pulled. And with that said, try not to blink. Even if you're using a brake barrel here also, I made a brake barrel video saying that not to blink as I'm looking through the scope and pull the trigger. And it has helped me so many times pulling off the shots that I do and a lot of you that watch my channels know I've pulled off some amazing shots with air rifles well everybody I hope you get something from this video and I hope these tips help you become a better shooter with your PCP air gun again a PCP out of the box of course is gonna be you know one of the most accurate styles of air guns out there especially comparing to a brake barrel but don't let that stop you because these still may take some finesse to get shooting well now also I didn't include in this because it's a little more advanced 
but you may have to try some tuning and different pellets if it's not shooting good downrange. But more than likely, these PCP air guns shoot pretty much a lot of pellets out of the box and they're not that pellet picky at close ranges. It's only when you get to farther ranges that it makes a really big difference on how well your tune is. But other than that, if you start from zero like I do and try to every shot, every time I get a PCP air gun out, depending on what I'm doing, you know, you're set. Start from zero at the balance point, have your trigger pull down, and then make sure you have good follow through. And I can tell you, more times than not, you won't be missing. Or, you know, your groups and your shooting will be, be a lot better. And I can promise you that. So as always, I appreciate you watching the video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again.